Hello there from Bug Eye Guy. This week I want to take you for a drive in two of the wonderful cars that we've recently prepared. We've been so busy. This was a car called Sunny that we built out for Richard in Texas. All kinds of modifications went into an already wonderful car. I'll take you for a drive in that one. And what's cool about this one is it has a Ford 5-speed upgrade, a supercharger, aluminum radiator, and that supercharger kit, which is unique we're the only ones who have this particular setup because it works for bug eyes and it has just a wonderful performance it's, it's one of my favorite modifications this car which is called Billy the bug eye went to Kansas City to the Horners a wonderful family project a family car dad's car that was restored by the Sun it was a long-term restoration and it's now back in Kansas City this one has a new 1275 engine. You can see the exhaust header under a new set of carburetors and K&N air filters. Same aluminum radiator, same exhaust system on both cars. This car has 165 tires and mini lights, and the first car has 155s on steel wheels. And so let's go for a drive in Billy here. And part of what I wanted to show you in this video, we have two beautiful high-end cars and they're very different because this one being normally aspirated and a four-speed, but slightly wider tires on alloy wheels. Let's see if you can see any performance difference between the two cars. It's only one tire size, but there are other differences between the two. So a lot of the tire skidding that you'll hear is actually the inside rear wheel on this green car, Billy, and that's because it's a conventional live rear axle, and the inside rear wheel will spin pretty easily on a bug eye sprite or any of the spridgets. On the yellow car, you might notice less of that because it has a limited slip differential, and that really makes a big difference. On the other hand, this car has a 165 tire, a little bit more rubber on the road, and that also helps improve traction, especially in the braking, which you see me doing here, to try and make sure that we've got our brakes set up properly before the cars depart. Now we're on to Sunny. This car has actually our GPS speedometer and the matching electronic tachometer and a Ford 5-speed. You'll notice we get that we weld, we custom weld the shift levers so that we can reuse the original shift tower as shown with a rubber boot. Now this car also has front disc brakes, both of them do, and rear drums, but the limited slip differential and 155 tires, and a supercharger and a 5-speed on this one. And let's see if you can tell any difference. one of the biggest differences I see is there's a little more clutch effort required with the Ford clutch but it's a stronger clutch and we've also put in an upgraded version of that it's reinforced for the supercharger it's actually about 30 percent stiffer although the pedal action is about the same as a stock five-speed setup And the handling differences are subtle, but I think the limited slip differential and actually the wider tires on Billy are the way to go. And braking I do believe is better just by the sheer fact that the contact patch with the 165 is bigger, more rubber on the road. And certainly 155s are great for braking as you can see here.
Anyway, one of the big points of this video is just to show you how flingable these cars are when they're good and tight and rattle free. You can really have a lot of fun. They're all wonderful builds. Each one's different and that's a big part of why we love what we do here so much. A lot of good fun with that live rear axle and a bug eye sprite. Thank you for coming for a drive with us today from Bug Eye Guy.